thinks is a lonely place. Who is this? There's no Clark, it's Chloe. I just wanted to let you know that I'm okay. Just Chloe? Where are you? Davis and I are gone, but please don't try and find us, okay? We're fine. You think that you're safe, Chloe, but you aren't. You are not safe with him. I'm sure everyone's fitting me for a straight jacket right now, but Clark, I do know what I'm doing. And I knew that if I told you any sooner that you would have found a way to stop me, so... Look, everything I've ever done, right or wrong, I did for you. By running away? Admit it, Chloe, you have feelings for Davis, that's why you're protecting him. Clark, I'm protecting you. I meant what I said. Condemning Davis to a life as that monster is worse than killing him. But what about you, Chloe? Chloe, I'm going to spend every second looking for you. I will find a way to save you. Clark, you're not here to save one person. You're here to save all of us. If you and you think sacrificing yourself will help me do that? Chloe, you're wrong. You're wrong, Chloe. I must have thrown a million green rocks away, and I have never really saved you. Now I can. Chloe, listen to me. This is your life that we're talking about. Don't do this. Clark, if there's one lesson I've learned from you, it's that choosing the greater good is never a sacrifice. Hey. hey, you said that uh, for a trips could use sweet tooth soap. Thank you. We better get moving. We're going to the border by morning. Let's disappear. Son, and that is you are here for a reason. It is all those things I can do, all those powers, and I couldn't even save him.
You did it, Superman. We're safe. All of us. God, that's... That's all that matters. Superman, go bye-bye! I'm gonna punch a hole in your head. We don't do that to our enemies. Speak for yourself. I'm trying to speak for Superman. Still not answering calls. He doesn't handle loss very well. Is that him now? I can't see. I can. <gasps> Luthor, how dare you show your face here? Lois, I... You've come to gloat. You've tried to get rid of him for years. Are you happy now? Isn't this what you've always wanted? I hate you! I hate you! Believe it or not, I'm going to miss him too. Though we gather here today, bound together in sorrow and loss, we share a precious gift. We are all of us privileged to live a life that has been touched by Superman. The Man of Steel possessed many extraordinary gifts, and he shared them with us freely. None of these gifts were more remarkable than his ability to discern what needed to be done, and his unfailing courage in doing it, whatever the personal cost. Let us all strive to accept his gift and pass it along, as an ongoing tribute to Cal L. of Krypton, the immigrant from the stars who taught us all how to be heroes. You've got to look at the... What's... What's the matter? Why are you... Van, when you were born, it was the happiest day of my life. When I first saw your beautiful little face, your tiny fingers squeezed my hand so tight, like you never wanted to let go. I've watched every step, every struggle, but Vanna, Rao, help me. But I don't think you're real. I don't think any of this is real. Don't say that, Daddy. 
Please, you're scaring me. No, no. I don't want to scare you, Van. You are everything I ever wanted in a son. This... This is everything I ever wanted in a life. But I've got responsibilities, Van. And I have to go now. I promise you, I'll never forget.